Hey guys, it's your boy French Fry Warrior here, and today we're here to go over the Records of Ragnarok spin off Apocalypse, the God vs. God Tournament, Chapter 2, which has finally been translated. So, with that out of the way, let's just quickly get into it. And I will say, I gave it some thought between um, the Ra versus Q. True, I don't know how to say this name. I'm not gonna waste my time, but y'all know who I'm talking about. Dude with big log. I honestly, I I feel like he's gonna be more like the main focus based on how like you know the story is and everything. And I'll explain a little bit more about that later. But honestly, like I like Ra. I like Ra in his presence. So I think I know he's probably gonna take an L maybe, but I'll go with Team Ra. I'm Team Ra for this. Anyway. Round one, match one. The Golden Sun, Ra versus the Hybrid Warrior. Q, I'm just gonna call him Q. That's what we're just gonna talk about. That's just how I'm gonna pronounce his name. Begin. Disappears. He's gone. He's up above. He smacks him down. Ra, of course, my boy, he's not phased. Takes the tree, swings it. By God, Rogers barely dodges Q's attack. Over and over and over. <laughs> Ooh, that demigod's not holding anything back. That boy's got some spunk to him. He's a tad savage. Yo, know, so Zeus is like, yo, this dude is damn near insane. You have any shred within you, not of intelligence, not of tact. See, this is why I like Ra. Ra is like, I yeah, Ra, Ra looks like a dickhead. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, he looks like a complete dickhead, but he looks like he's smart. And like, he has this presence of like, yo, let me not mess with him. Almost like he's like a, like a general, almost like. Nor of any divinity. Blocks the attack. What a sight. Ra has not only dodged most accused strikes, but he's now blocked it with only one hand. Yeah. That proves how good my boy Ra is. But I mean, they just literally started. This dude's sweating bullets, though. Like, damn. And he's breathing. You think um maybe Ra's passive effect is taking in, like, I remember when, uh, what's his name, Ares was nearby. He was like, yo, I'm getting cooked just in his vicinity. So maybe Q is like, Q is feeling that as well. He made his statement loud and clear. I don't ever, I don't even need to dodge your attack. He's so strong, of course. One-sided. Of course it is. They may both be out of God, but it's the God of the sun. Feel the power of the sun. Feel the power of the sun against the debbie against the debbie god it's ridiculous that someone like him is out there to begin with Ooh, what a stunner oh who's this now we got three new characters i always thought Ra was just blowing a bunch of hot air but he's really got some bite to his bark i think you would jump into conclusions yeah maybe that danny demigod is super weak black tortoise azure dragon white tiger I don't really know what mythology they're from. This seems pretty cool. Or maybe Sir Ra, leader of the four gods, has taken the advantage somehow. Sobbing just went on. I know my attacks aren't that weak. Has he got something in the background? Either way, it doesn't matter to me. It's the heat, bro. Like, look at that sweat. It, yeah. He rushes in, he stops. What's gotten into him? What the? Something's clearly not right with him. He's feeling dehydrated, maybe, from all the sweat. I've seen that. It's the same thing he did to me. What is it? Yeah, see, what did I just say? There we go. Finally, you've begun to feel my power. Yeah, I'm not the only one who's crazy thirsty here, am I? There's no wonder with the, with the heat in this arena. Yeah, if you'd like. Oh, we got some new female characters. Oh, when did they get here? The guys of Egypt are passing out drinks all around the spectators. Damn. I don't gotta lie, this looks like a 
female version of Anubis. I'm not gonna lie, a little bit. Then we got Isis and Hathor. Damn, I ain't gonna lie, they, they kinda bad, I ain't gonna lie. But we come we come prepared naturally when Lord Ra comes into combat, his blazing body is further stimulated, unleashing a blast of heat. Damn, he trying to he trying to cook the audience too. I wonder I wonder how Shiva would react to this cuz you know Shiva's final form like he like sets himself ablaze and like throughout the battle like he gets himself hype and it causes his body to like heat up. So I wonder if Ra would like speed up that process as it like make him cook himself quicker. Huh. I really wonder. Yeah, I would like to see Ra versus Shiva. Thanks to the heat and dryness it causes, even the stands feel like a desert. And I'm sure that on the field it's even worse. Lita Ra girls, Bastet. Bastet. I don't know how to pronounce names, bro. Y'all know this about me. Prominence field, full power. Damn, he getting cooked. Literally. I tell you, feel the power of the sun, bro. I'm not gonna lie, if I was fighting Ra, I would be done. I wouldn't be able to handle that heat. And I like the heat, but I can only imagine how he's feeling. This heat, I'm not exaggerating, it's an inferno. Even from this commentary, see it's practically unbearable. And so I'm forced to retreat up to the sky. The prominence field. What a fearsome technique. And quite fitting for the god of the sun. That blast of heat brought even me, the god of war, to my... Come on, Ares. Come on. You know, your father. Don't, don't be bringing that in here now. If he's had, If he's had it since the very start of the match... Then we got the summon spec for being able to unleash such fury attacks at least. His power and speed had most likely been reduced a considerable deal, which is why Ra was so easily able to avoid and block his attack. But one thing is very clear now. When Ra goes all out in a fight, that heat totally kills the vibe. You can say that again. And while see Shiva, I want you to comment. Do you think you'll be able to beat him? I mean, like, see, even she was sweating. Everyone's getting cooked, bro. And while I'm here, allow me to once again go over the conditions for victory in Apocalypse. The decision-making process is clear, cut, and simple. Be it death, submission, or any other means. Once the combatant is no longer able to fight, the match is called. And with that in mind, looking at Q now. Oh, okay, okay, so... It's not necessary a fight to the death. Like regular Ra regular Ragnarok is like a little fight to the death, to my knowledge. Like I don't think like you could just surrender in Ragnarok. I could be wrong, but cause you know in the beginning we try to see like you know Adam was like telling this like yo just surrender. Same with like Heracles telling Jack to surrender, and he'll make Zeus accept it. I don't. I think in Ragnarok it's just it's death no matter what. But here, it's like, at least you could surrender, or if you're no longer able to fight. I think it's safe to say this fight's over. Such idiocy. I told I told you from the start, this, this was a waste of time. Come on, that was basically a blow-off. How the hell is this supposed to help me in the second round? He thought animalistic sa savagery and momentum would help him, but such a paltry savagery doesn't hold any weight in the apocalypse. Come on, guys, he's not done yet. He got something. And without that, the demigod laying a single finger on him. Splendidly done, Lord Ra. Round one match, the winner is Ra. See, they was really about to call it. Yo, that's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that's some crazy, like, <laughs> I mean, obviously it's the demigod, so they feel type of way about him. That's, that's like a crazy type racism thing. Like, he wasn't even done on the ground. He was still standing. But he, they were still like, yo, we're just ready to call it. Like, that's crazy. They were really about to just throw him to the wayside. Damn. Uh, he disappears. Ho oh, ho. Oh, oh, right. If you think this match is over, you're thinking a tad too soon. Oh, he's serious. What the? 
Ortiz apparently made a full recovery and now he's breaking up the floor and hurling it like a buckshot. Hurrah. Okay, he dodges it as usual. Then he comes up. He does another shot. What good does that do you? He's fast. Yeah, that's that's one thing. Apparently he's like really, really quick. And this is probably him at full full speed. And he comes. Do I take it or I dodge it? They Damn, he just kicks the shit out of him. He's like, I ain't taking anything. Rod lets it rip with a powerful high kick, and once again, Q can't do anything to fight back. As the two resume their chaotic clash, rushes in for a blink and you'll miss it swing. And yet, Rod still has the upper hand. It looked like to me, yes, Sir Rod was desperate. He neither dodged nor blocked it. Nothing like his usual style. I wouldn't really call that being desperate, but you know, teach their own. Whoa. Ho ho ho. Me thinks Ra himself could see that the only course of action he could take against that attack. As a matter of fact, that lad's power and speed have both drastically improved since the start of the match. This is a sick panel. I'm not gonna lie, this panel is sick. But Rai shook, he's like, wait, what the hell? He's tight. <laughs> now I'm finally starting to feel the heat a little. Come on, big man. We still got a ways to go, don't we? At that moment, the fighters in the apocalypse watching the match unfold, as well as some other mighty gods in the spectator, shared the same thought. Now this fight is gonna get interesting. Whether he could read the atmosphere, or whether he could feel it or not, Ra suddenly called up the prominence field. Hello, Ra, what are you doing, bro? I mean, unless it drains his energy, but let's see. What, what is Ra doing? That baffling act turned all the eyes in the arena once towards Ra. Is he giving up? No, he wouldn't possibly. I would rush it after that. Like, oh, you took up the field? I'm going to smack in you. But then they said he, he likes to rush in too much so maybe that wouldn't be a good idea only the man whom Ra was against and the man thus closer to him felt Q closest to Q could see his face and could sense get rise he's mad he really I'm sorry he really reminds me of Yuppie from Hunter x Hunter he just looks like Yuppie and I feel like in a way he acts like Yuppie he gets angry like really quickly though. Also, I meant to say this earlier. It's funny how Rod's not like the bird. The bird guy that we usually that not we usually, but you know, most people would see Ra. Like Anubis is the dog, for example. Well, you know, Rod just a Rod just a dude. He ain't no bird or anything like that. But he could sense his wrath. Damn, that's the end of the chapter, really? Damn. Alright, it is what it is. But Actually, now that I think about it, maybe he might have a transformation we turn into like this bird or whatever. But, okay. You know, usually this is the first ch chapter of like the actual match, so not too much is going to be going on, but Ra has his AoE that he turned off now, so I'm curious to what he's going to do now. But, you know, this Q guy, he must be really, really strong because for Ra to feel like this... And then to be tight, that his only option was like to hit him, probably because you know he couldn't dodge or block the attack. I mean, that only speaks to his power. And how he recovered so quickly, I don't know. Maybe he just like got used to the heat and was like, screw it. Maybe he's feeling pumped up now. But I'm not really sure. And then his speed is also a whole nother thing. So, Rob might have his hands full, bro. I'm not gonna lie, Ra might have his hands full. I'm also curious that since it's a spinoff, how long are these like matches gonna take? I wonder if they'll be like a little bit shorter, or who knows, like maybe it'll be the same amount. I don't think it's gonna be longer, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'd have to see. But overall, you know, as usual, 
good chapter here. Uh, still on Team Raw. Q is definitely strong. I, I, I still get the high feeling that Raw's going to lose. But because of Raw's character, I really like it. So, yeah, Team Raw all the way. And as I said, I'm not going to do like a whole like actual uh, review review until like the whole round is done and I compile it all into one. So, as I said in my previous video, for now, y'all just be getting these live reactions. And then once this round is done, I'll do like a big video of like playing the whole fight out, you know? But with that out of the way, let me know in the comments who y'all are rooting for and what you think Ra's about to do here. I think he's about to absorb the power of the sun or something like that, like or some Superman stuff. Uh, Hugh's definitely also going to have his hands full as well. So let me know what y'all think is going to happen in the comments below and whose side you're on as well. And with that out of the way, thank you for joining me on this live reaction. Hope y'all have a good day out there. Stay safe. Be good people out there. And I will catch y'all on the next chapter. Peace.